The future of power plant is a landscape architecture that generates renewable energy. I call it the power scape. In 40 years, the oil, crude oil supply will decline to one third of today. There has to be a solution to sustain both Middle East energy-based economy and also global energy supply. Ironically, not only does the Middle East have a lot of oil, but they also have a lot of sun. Actually, too much of them. So migrating to a post-oil era, the Middle East will certainly invest in renewables, especially in solar energy. Blanket in the desert with these solar thermal dish can provide the energy. However, a typical solar infrastructure is 100 times larger than a typical power plant. Give an example. If the Arabic Peninsula is planning to replace half of their oil with solar technology, they would need an infrastructure that is three times as large as Jeddah or six times as large as Seoul to be a power scape. Given the mega size of the power scape, today we need to think strategically about deploying it without impact the environment and think about its potential. At MIT in the, in the United States, we explore different options to reinvent the solar thermal dish from a super high-tech alienated object into a simple and modest canopy architecture. Just like fabric canopies often seen in this region, the power canopy is a tensile structure that suspends a mesh of mirrors. These mirrors are actually inflated pillows. The bottom part of it has a layer of mirror material, and the top part of it protects against the sand. With a mesh of sensors that track the sun in real time, and a number of mini motors that can orientate the mirror in position in response to the sun. With these mirrors, they can concentrate and reflect the sunlight onto the four columns where the sunshine is, is collected and becoming electricity. So the sunshine is flowing on the mirrors, reflected and collected on the four columns, where heat is collected as electricity. And as the sun is moving, these mirrors are all just transformed to follow the sun, varying a set of patterns through a day and across seasons. So at noon, we can program the canopy to be opaque to stop all the harsh sunlight. And towards the end of the day, it becomes more transparent. In the evening, of course, we should program it in a configuration that we can see the romantic sky. Most interestingly for me, the power canopy is like a giant air conditioner, but produces energy. That said, the heat is collected and becomes electricity. Therefore, we can expect a significant drop in temperature and much less evaporation making a better climate throughout all seasons that is favorable for farming. As we all know, farming in the desert has been very difficult, and this region has imported about 80% of their food. Now, with a canopy structure, these people can grow wheat, palm date, chalices, and, grow, and also raise not only desert animals, but also but also other livestock under the canopy. Furthermore, these canopies can also integrate other closed greenhouse systems, such as WaterG. WaterG is an invention from Germany that can collect the heat at the tip of each column and then generate an internal air circulation, which also co collects the vapors and recycles the water. With the water in this canopy hybrid system, people can grow fruits and vegetables even in a desert contest. Flexible and scalable, the power canopy can adapt themselves organically to even convoluted topographies and accommodate many forms of farms, aggregating themselves into a power scape. The power scape is one of the ecological hybrid ideas that I've been working on. And the power scape demonstrates how we can marry multiple systems in symbiosis Creating ecology not only produces energy, but also food, urbanism, and a sustainable future. Thank you.